maximum permissible flow rate, which may be requested by a loading facility. Under the Okinf SIA Vessel Inspection Questionnaire Guidelines, it's a requirement to have the maximum loading rates and venting capacities posted in the cargo control room. But how do we determine maximum flow rates and venting capacities? Maximum flow rates are normally calculated based on the rated velocity of flow past cargo valves. The types of valves typically found on an oil tanker are Butterfly valves These use seat rings made of neoprene rubber and are typically rated at a velocity flow rate of 6 meters per second. This is usually the limiting factor for flow rate. However, the overriding limit is the liquid level of the pressure vacuum breaker on the inert gas venting distribution pipeline. This is required to have enough capacity to accommodate the gas flow from cargo tanks of 125% of the maximum permissible loading rate. This allows for a 25% increase in vapour, which will evolve as crude enters the tank. We call this vapour growth. If your vessel is fitted with full flow pressure relief valves, they are also required to be capable of venting at 125% of the maximum single tank loading rate. Again, 25% is allowed for vapour growth. For any particular loading operation, the maximum loading rate will be determined by the number of manifolds that are being used, the pipeline loading configuration, and the number of tanks being loaded. Looking at this example of a typical maximum loading rate table for different valve types on the cargo loading pipeline system, you can see the nominal bore or internal diameter of each valve type on the pipeline system. Against each is the maximum permissible rate based on velocity flow of 6 meters per second. The maximum permissible flow rate can be determined using a matrix for various combinations of direct loading and manifold valves. Here, you see the maximum permissible loading rate through two direct loading lines and two manifolds is 13,600 meters cubed per hour. But the maximum loading rate might be limited by the total rate of the number of tanks being loaded, based on multiples of the single tank rate. This table shows that the areas in pink are limited by the single tank rate, whereas the areas in yellow are limited by the permissible rates through the direct loading lines. Before we go on to look at other limiting factors that might make us load at rates lower than the maximum permissible limits, let's consider the following scenario. You are to load three cargo tanks through three manifolds and two direct loading lines.